Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy, Never. And you're watching The Never Show. Yes, that show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and supernatural, super awesome third eyes. We've gotten the joke. <laughs> uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank you all for being my YouTube friends. I say it every week, and I mean it because I'm truly grateful. And eliciting a tear from a 230-plus-pound kitty man is pretty hard. <laughs> Aww. Every week that you guys stick with me and share my videos and like my videos makes me happy. Your comments challenge me and fuel me on to better things. With that said, I'm going to shout out uh, Look Mom No Computer. I love Sam Battle or Brittle. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name right. Uh, Lord help me. I'm not good at that. And uh, Felix Kajelberg, a.k.a. PewDiePie, because he inspired me to do this. I love that he's playing Minecraft and super excited about it. It's just making me happy. I enjoy Minecraft. I'm easy to please, like I said before. Uh, but you didn't come here to listen to me talk about stuff, so uh, let's get into that movie review. You've clicked on that impeccable thumbnail. Do you know what's happening? Let's do it. Today's movie is Spider-Man Far From Home. It is a PG-13 movie. I don't know if kids go to PG-13 movies anymore without their parents. Uh, it is two hours and nine minutes, so hold off on the Super Slaker. Because <laughs> it's going to get... It, you will have to get up, go to the bathroom, and then you have to go through, watch the whole damn thing again. Because you've missed something important. It's an action-adventure sci-fi, heavy on the action. This follows up the events of Avengers Endgame. There are a lot of callbacks to that. Uh, director John Waits, who did... Oh, Lord, I always forget this, and I have a list. He did uh, Homecoming and a bunch of Fatboy Slim videos that I vaguely remember with the uh, writing credits of Chris McKenna and Eric Summers, who've done writing on other... Marvel things before, based on the works of Stan Lee, God rest his soul, and Steve Get Ditko. Ditto. And I'm, I've listened to you. Short and sweet is the way you want it. You want it. You got it. That's how the cast first build's going to go. Tom Holland, Peter Parker. Love him. There is nothing else to say. Samuel Jackson looks great as Nick Fury. The man is ageless. I swear. Jake Gyllenhaal as Quentin Beck, a.k.a. Mysterio. I like it, but you can't throw a twist at me and say, hey, he's now a villain when I know he's a villain. Uh, Melissa Tomel as May Parker. This is the one thing I hate. May Parker keeps getting younger and younger. And if you're a fan of the classic Peter Parker and Spider-Man movies and comics, it gets odd for you. Just saying, it's getting really odd that she's getting younger, and just from my uh, point of view, her dating happy, it just makes it even more weird, because John Favreau is beautiful, and he's getting older. <laughs> uh, Ned Leeds, he is one of the best comic foils I've seen in a while, and I love Zandra, Zandra as MJ, and our production companies were uh, Columbia Pictures, Marvel Studios, Pascal Fixtures, Stereo D, nothing you haven't heard before. Our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love was Columbia Pictures. And our special effects companies, 
And there are quite a few, so hang on to your hats, folks. Tammy, engage the non-boringer. <laughs> Frame store, industrial light magic, part of the Trinity. <laughs> Image engine, Sony Pictures, Image Works. Luma Pictures, Rising Sun, Scanline VFX. Territory Studios, Method Studios, Bot VFX, Clear Angle Studios, Crafty Apes, House of Motion Capture Studios, <laughs> Image Visualization Effects, Legend 3D, Method Studios, Perception, Proof London, Stereo D, The Third Floor, Weta Digital, Another One of the Trinity. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Yenex and FX3X. And that's a mouthful any way you slice it. And my thoughts on the movie. Uh, is anybody getting more creeped out that Aunt May is getting younger and younger and younger in every Spider-Man movie? Is it just me? Anyone? Because, you know, like I said, you know, classic Spider-Man comics, the uh, old Spider-Man cartoons on the old WB on whatever. I love. I felt the chemistry was good between the characters, though, on this film. Uh, I love Tom Holland and Zandra. I always get weird with names. Really meshed up. They get that awkward teenage thing worked out, and it was kind of cute, you know. The few things that are my biggest complaints are, you know, it felt very much like Richard Grieco in If Looks Could Kill in the beginning, and it took a long time to get to the buildup. Then we had Mysterio show up. He's mysterious. He's, you know, fighting monsters from another dimension, but really he's fighting fake. He's not really fighting anything because it's all a visual illusion thing. And the whole twist at the hour moment where you find out that he's just going to just take it, take, you know, some Stark tech and use it for himself. It just was like, oh, no. You, you know, you can't throw a twist at us and then say, look, ooh, he's a bad guy. When, if you're a longtime fan, you know that Mysterio is a bad guy. We st And with the whole thing with, you know, it just being only two months ago that we just finished Endgame, it just seems too soon. I feel like we could have gone another month, maybe month and a half before this movie came out. Give us time to grieve over, you know, uh, character X who died in Avengers because I don't want to spoil it for you. But if you haven't seen it yet, please do. We can't keep the spoilers away forever, you know. It's just really frustrating because <laughs> you want to reference something. And then, you know, I mean, you know, if Looks Could Kill came out in 91. So I'm not spoiling it for anybody at this point. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I think that's about it. It's a great movie. I love the special effects. You can't go wrong. You know, what a digital industrial light and magic and so many other names jammed into this creates a visual effect that you cannot, you know, <laughs> underestimate. I really wish I could say more. I want to, but I don't want to spoil plots and I don't want to give away the whole story because you want to see the movie yourself. You want to know if it's watchable. Yes, it's watchable. I mean, it's a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. 96% of the people liked it. It's an 8.1 on IMDb. Other than that, I kind of want to see what CinemaSense thinks just because if I smell a little bit of fish, maybe they smell a lot of fish. I don't know. But... Uh, we'll leave that up to them. And for those of you who have, you know, jumped forward really quickly through this video to this part because you just want the inside box score, uh, I'm going to say it's a TV watch. Fully active, like watching the screen, not just like playing Minecraft on my tablet or something. Uh, I'm going to say DVD buy, but I'm going to wait for a director's cut or an extended features thing or a box set that way i can kill a bunch of a bunch of stuff with one stone you know how it goes i'm gonna pass on a theater rewatch just because i don't know i just a little long for me it was a little uncomfortable i got a little uncomfortable because i'm in a little discomfort at this time due to the weather here in florida because it rains a lot and 
I have achy game things and that ache when it rains. With all that said, if you like what you've seen here, make sure you click that like button. It's oh so important that you do because it means the video gets shared elsewhere. This is the way YouTube works now. This is the way Mafia works now. <laughs> Need I say more? Uh, remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Tell me your realities, your fan fictions, your tales of ennui, your tales of yay. Spill your guts out. Bodily fluids. Crazy stuff. Make me think. <laughs> Make me, you know, think about what I'm doing here because it's important to me. And I'd like to thank you for the comments of recent. Um, I hope I have addressed what you were asking about. If not, uh, let me know in the comments because that's what they're for. And, you know, I have to ask, I have an Amazon, I have a Patreon. It's not without your donations that keeps this channel afloat. I don't know how I do it without you. Hard drives are kind of expensive, man. <sighs> Thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because it's a running joke towards the end of these videos, if you like what you see in here and you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding ding. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye!